In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you another sensorial activities that you can do in your homeschooling, which includes making use of sound cylinders. Sound cylinders are very helpful to your children to develop their sense of auditory or their sound discrimination. In this video, I'll show you how to present this to your child plus some bonus tips on how you can extend the use of sound cylinders for your language lesson. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lorraine of Intentional Homeschooler, giving you the tips and resources to help you in your homeschooling journey. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Sensorial activities are focused with the development of the five senses. So what are the five senses? We have the tactile or the sense of touch, visual, auditory, olfactory or the sense of smell, and the gustatory or the sense of Days. So we know that children are actually learning using their five senses. So kung mapapansin natin, yung mga even babies, no, they will try to grab everything around, yung mga bagay around them. And they will try to put it inside their mouth. Kasi that's how they perceive or learn the things around them. That's why sensorial activities are very important because it sharpens the children's intellect and it prepares them for more advanced lessons. For every sensorial activity, it focuses on one sense to explore. So for the sound cylinders, it's for the auditory. You may also want to check out my video on how to use the tactile touch board for the sense of touch and my video about the pink tower for the visual. Okay, lang nyo lang for this activity is the sound jar or a sound bottle. But for this video, I'm gonna be using my DIY sound cylinders using the cardboard fisher rolls. And later on, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano to gawin. But if you want to have your own sound cylinder, I'll post the link in the description below where you can buy or order this material. So now, papakita ko how to do your own sound cylinder using the cardboard tissue roll. So I have sand, pasta noodles, rice, and pebbles. So make sure na magkakaiba yung sound nila para hindi ma-confuse yung bata. Then, tape it. First set, pasta noodles. And then, cover niyo lang yan ng colored paper. Dapat different color para malaman ng bata kung ano yung imamatch niya. So, ito yung finished product ng ating DIY sound cylinder. So that would be the initial lesson for the sound cylinder. So for the extension lesson, pwede nyo i-introduce yung volume of the sounds using the sound cylinder. So ngayon ipapakita namin kung paano gawin yun. So kukunin nyo lang yung sound cylinder at ilalagay nyo randomly sa mat. And then the child will align the sound cylinders from softest to loudest. For the language lesson, pwede nyo i-introduce yung terminologies like soft, softer, softest, and loud, louder, loudest. If this video has helped you, 
hit the like button, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video.